Alright everybody, welcome to another rendition of League Starting Characters, or in this case, Character, though there is more than meets the eye with this starter and we're gonna talk about that in a bit. Originally I was gonna go full balls into making this video without paying attention to the patch notes, but they came out today, Tuesday March 10th, so I had to remake the audio portion because there have been a couple of slight alterations on the build's plan. So, the character in question is a Shadow Assassin and we are gonna be playing self-cast with Wave of Conviction as our main skill. We are doing this because Wave of Conviction is pretty okay for our leveling and mapping needs. With just a 5 link we should be able to tackle plenty of content and after we have maxed out all of his potential, we are gonna turn it on its head and you'll see why in a bit. Before we continue further into the guide though, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you end up liking the guide. I'll be playing a lot of this game this league, trying out build ideas here and there and if you're into that kind of content or listening to the ramblings of yet another dude playing Path of Exile, be sure to join us on the channel. Plus, I'm kinda close to 300 subscribers and I want more of that so uh, you can help by clicking that red button down there. Anyways, shameless plug aside, let's see the skill tree for this assassiner which looks like this. Now let's talk gear, and for that we're gonna be using two unique items in this build, and they are a Hrim Sorrow or a Hrim Burn and a Carcass Jack. For the helmet, you have a couple of choices. A Warlord influenced helmet can roll with increased elemental damage and global crit multi alongside life and resists. Or you can go with an Elder helmet with fist damage to spells and conch effect for area damage alongside life and resists. Either option is fine and the higher the roll the better. The weapon is kinda flexible in the sense that we just need a shaper stat stick. I'm gonna put examples on screen but ultimately the goal is gaining fist damage as extra elemental damage, global crit multi and spell damage. We are also gonna be using a shield and try to get life, mana regen, a resist and either spell damage, elemental damage or spell gem levels. For the amulet, an incursion amulet is best. We want one with cold damage leech that's life and cold resistance alongside life and if possible spell damage and mana regen. We're also anointing this one with divine judgment. Rings are whatever and we just need life, mana regen and resists. For boots, life, resists and movement speed. Mana region if you've casted a spell recently or elemental penetration are the best enchantments for the boots. On the belt we are gonna be using a Stygian Vice. Originally I was gonna recommend fossil crafting but uh, that is out of the equation now since those mods are now influence dependent or gone completely. So we want life, resists and an open prefix to craft increased damage. Be sure to leave an F for fossil crafting in the comments below. The Abyss Jewel on the belt needs life and fist damage to spells, gain fist damage as extra fire on crit or elemental penetration. As for flasks, at series promise, a taste of hate and a diamond flask are the gatorade choices. The jewels on the tree have increased life, a crit multiplier mod and other damage enhancing mods. I'm gonna put examples on the screen right now. Now we can talk about the gem setups. On the chest we want Wave of Conviction linked to Inspiration, Faster Casting, Conch Effect and Arcane Surge. If you manage to get a 6 link, the last link is Control Destruction. For Auras, Hatred, Herald of Ash and a low level Clarity. The rest of the gems are Aligning Golem, a Frost Bomb, Val Righteous Fire and a Spell Totem with Purifying Flame and Combustion. And that's pretty much it for the self-cast Assassin League Starter Duder. And he should be pretty cheap and easy to play. After all, the goal of the character is getting as much currency and completing as much of the Atlas as possible to finance the next build. Now, granted, the only downside is that we are playing self-cast. However, that can be fixed once we get the currency 
efficiency and willpower to keep playing this character. The goal after the character hits level 90 is to turn him into Cyclone Custom Crit, and the reason as to why is pretty simple. Fun. I know, an alien concept nowadays, but believe me, it does become hella fun to play, and here is how. First, the skill tree, and if you noticed, we only changed 3 nodes, which is actually pretty freaking neat. Next, we are gonna need either a 6 linked 200 sword with a global crit multi implicit, or a 6 linked 200 axe with increased crit chance implicit. And we are gonna craft this with a 30 can corroded fossils. The reason as to why is. We only want plus one level to socket the gems, and if possible, local crit chance, attack speed, or global crit multi. Besides that, this fossil combination should lock out pretty much anything else that doesn't have to do with what we want. If we arrive to the promised land and hit a decent roll with an open prefix, we can craft increased spell damage and gain damage as extra chaos. However, I recommend going for plus two levels of socketed support gems, which comes from Katarina. If the stars align and we are able to do the swap to the custom crit, our setup in the weapon looks like this. Cyclone, custom crit, inspiration, empower, or conch effect, depending on the craft or if you are able to craft on the weapon, and then wave of conviction and purifying flame. For auras, we are gonna change clarity for precision and we can level precision to its max level, unlike clarity. We swap to an ice golem, the spell totem setup is changed to an ancestral protector with combustion, and finally we can link a low level arcane surge to withering step and frost bomb to trigger arcane surge frequently. As a side note, try to get level 21 purifying flame and wave of conviction gems, and do not aim for 2120, specifically for wave of conviction as that one tends to go for a lot more than what it sounds. So yeah, just get 21-0 quality and you should be fine. From my own experience, the cast and crit version should be even stronger than the regular self-cast with conviction and a bit more intuitive to play. Just remember the cast and crit rule, do not go above 6 attacks per second unless you have cooldown recovery speed somewhere in your gear and you should be good to go. Now, I know I'm going super fast with the character's plan, which in turn may make this seem like a mangled up build, but don't worry, I have done some testing in standard and can confirm this works. From the Wave of Conviction scuffed leveling to swapping to custom crit, and it's fun, super fun, which is all that matters. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. The next video should be this character in practice inside the Lyrium League, spreading the good word. However, expect that video later next week because I won't be around for the Lyrium's start, which is kinda sad, so can we get another F in the comments? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video and are not subscribed yet, hey, I'm just saying it's free and I post a lot of similar content and you may be interested in that. Anywho, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon enough. Peace out.